Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chef Tunes, your favorite chef, Saul the Bull. Anyways, today we got a great menu. Today we got a pan seared chicken breast with a with an apple and onion compote. We got roasted potatoes and we have some uh, sauteed spinach. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna start with the chicken. We bought two chicken breasts. These are huge chicken breasts. I mean, if you notice, this is a pretty huge one. So what we did we, what we call it, we butterfly it. We got the half. We usually got a knife. <laughs> And we cut it in between and we did two slices. So we did that to two chicken breasts. Now the difference is that one's marinated more with oil, salt, pepper, a little shirata in there. We got a little bit of uh, Caesar dressing in there. You can let that marinate or you want to stay healthy side, you can stay away from fats. You go just a plain chicken breast and you come and season. So I'm going to show you two cooking methods for these. So I'll do the one that's marinated, folks, is ready to go. The other one, season it to your choice. Favorite seasoning, that's up to you. Salt. Some pepper, maybe some uh, lorries, totally up to you. It's ready to go, folks. All you do is just put it in your pan, straight in the oven, there you go. Well, you got the second style. You got the pan nice and hot, nice medium heat, a little bit of oil in there. Once again, this one's been sitting in the marinade for a couple of hours. Once you got that, that's the sound you want to hear, folks. You want to hear, make sure that pan is nice and hot. A little bit of oil, we don't want to fry it. We just want to pan sear it. Then you got your other breast, drop it down. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to sear it for about three minutes on one side. Then we're going to flip it and turn the other side. Then you're going to come with me. So obviously, once again, folks, we're dealing with poultry, which is one of the most uh, easiest products to contaminate and get bacteria out there. So obviously, always remember, you got to wash your hands, folks. Stay, keep it safe and clean. So when that's going, come over here. I would do uh, either, you know, sink 230 or do the alphabet. That's kind of uh, the safe side to do washing your hands. You, know, you got to make sure they're under nice and hot, heat, hot, hot water, not cold water. Enough soap all over your hands. Get some towels. So always have some clean towels ready to go, folks. So only at this point, our chicken breast probably getting nice and seared. Follow me on this side, folks. Go. Okay. The two sides. Okay. Now the other one, once again, we got two, two sides of chicken breast. It's totally up to you how you're gonna go. This one's ready to go. Throw it in the oven for about 400 degrees for about eight minutes. You should be able to have a nice chicken breast or internal temperature of 165. So I did, we're just gonna go ahead, put this one in. We're gonna check on that one. Folks, stay with us. Right, we're gonna guys, come right now back. We're dealing with the other chicken breast we marinated for about a couple of hours. It's obviously been in the pan for about three minutes on each side. We want a nice golden side. So only once you get it to that, folks, it is raw in the middle. Once you get a nice little char in your chicken breast, something like that, get a silver sheet pan, a little bit of oil, hardened paper will work. Get that in there. Once again, this one's already pan here, so this one's going to take a little less. So maybe you want to go in here and check it out, drop it out of an oven that's about 400 degrees, put it in there. So I'm happy to take it out in eight minutes, folks. Don't forget to set your timers to it. So stay tuned. Uh, what well, we did earlier, we got these chicken breasts nice and seasoned. We did two styles of marinade and just a plain one with, with lots of seasoning. Then went in the oven. That's ready to go. Our roasted potatoes are ready to go. So the last thing we're going to do, we're going to do our apple onion compote. It's pretty easy and basic. All you do is get some onions, cut them real thinly. Get some apples, cut them up real small as well, real thin. And you got some red pepper for color. So all you do is get your pan nice and hot. Get some oil in there. Got some onions in there, folks. Once you got those onions in there, remember they're gonna cook real fast, they're nice and thin. Get some apples in there. These are cut thin as well. You wanna make sure you cut these apples right when you're gonna cook or else they're gonna turn color. All right? Get that going on, get those red peppers in there. All right, once you got that in there, ready to go, don't forget to season it. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of some of that lorries. Okay, folks, if you feel like it's not enough, enough oil in there, just put that a little bit. Okay, get that in there. All right, once you got in there, get everything nice and coated. Now, while that's going on, we're going to cook this for a couple of minutes. What you want to do, you want to come out, pull out your chicken breast. Move this to the side real quick. We got a chicken breast. Zoom in a little bit, Carlito, so they can take a look. So obviously we got two styles. We got our marinated here, and we got our just regular seasoned chicken breast. So what you want to do is get a pan like this, lay it out. 
Once again, folks, we're cooking family style, so you cook all this in the table and you let the peeps help themselves. Obviously, these chicken breasts are lighter due to the fact that we didn't sear these. Once you got these in there, get like that, right? Now, you see this juice right here? This chicken juice, you want to save that. You're going to see that right now. See these apples as well, zoom in, Carlitos, so they can take a look. All those onions are already slow cooking. We got those uh, peppers, we got those uh, apples. You want to do at this point, get that juice, drop it in there. Add some of that chicken juice left over from earlier, drop it in there. You got something like that going, another minute of cooking. Great, obviously folks, in this kind of thing, we're doing a stir fry for over the chicken. You could use bell peppers, you could use mushrooms, you could use zucchini, you could use squash, you could use asparagus, you could use broccoli, it's totally up to you. And obviously we have more videos out there that can show you what kind of different sides you could be cooking with. But obviously today we're choosing a nice little apple and onion compo with some red peppers to kind of complement the thing. Once you got that going on, folks, pour it over your chicken breast. Get that nice color in there. A little parsley. And there you have it, folks. You got some beautiful chicken breast with some apple and onion compo, a little red pepper, some parsley, ready to go nice and easy. Obviously, it's totally up to you what size you go, you're going to want to match these with. You can just straight, uh, you can stay away from any starch or carbs and go straight vegetables, or you could do your nice rice, but obviously, it's totally up to you, folks. So please continue to stay with us on Chef Tunes. You continue to learn these quick, easy recipes for your house and for your loved ones.